Hello everyone, and welcome to another video. I am Veos, and today we're building a Mega Rover. Now, I've had this idea for a very long time, ever since I watched gameplay of uh, Homeworld, The Sands of Karak, or something like that. I absolutely fell in love with the land ships that they had in the game. They were these massive, giant rover-like vehicles that could literally house hundreds of people. Of course, the concept of a giant land ship isn't anything new. It's been around uh, for a very, very, very long time. I tried to do something very similar to it you know, when I built my land carrier many, many videos ago. In building this rover, I actually learned a lot. Through trial and error, I learned about uh, the wheels and how, how to build them and what's, what's the proper amount of linkage between the uh, motor and the actual fairing the weight distri distribution and all that jazz. So I think, I think, I believe that I could do better in building a new land carrier sometime in the future. Now this thing ends up weighing about 170 tons. So I can only imagine that the land car carrier is gonna be about twice that. So instead of six large wheels, it's probably gonna be around <laughs> three, six, nine, twelve, possibly. But believe it or not, I think that that would actually lower the part count since the wheels it has on now is like, well, let's just say it's a lot of parts per track. In the works as well is like a type of um, military spacecraft uh, carrier. It won't be as fancy as the ironclad ships that I've been building, but it's definitely a start. At first, I was going to put four wheels on this thing until I realized that it just that wouldn't just that wouldn't work because of the fact that I had um, utilities in the back of the vehicle so they they were going to need some room in order to get out plus six wheels is not only better than four but it looks cooler as well now this is just a prototype so there's a lot of things to iron out but it's looking really good right now it's meant to be just a science vessel it just goes around and collects science but in the future, I can see myself building one with like uh, transportation in mind. Um, it transports kerbals as well as cargo or something of that nature. And yes, there could be one that has to deal with maybe um, war. Maybe it has like two giant uh, missiles or something. Or maybe it could even be like a launch platform. Like it's a, a mobile launch platform that takes the rocket out somewhere and then the rocket sets up and then launches from it which I think actually would be pretty cool I could have it set up like in the desert or something and then have it launch a mission to uh, the space station or something so right now it carries two rovers two science rovers and they go out and do science stuff I was actually thinking about putting a large science arm on maybe the elevator that comes out on the right hand side so that it doesn't have to always uh, take the little rovers out if it wants to collect science but I have not uh, updated it like that just yet however it is an idea this is this is the first gen okay this is I can't stress this enough that it's a prototype so much better versions will come out in the future now if you didn't know already I was uh, streaming yesterday Saturday 12 o'clock or well, actually started closer to 11:30 uh, Eastern Standard Time but uh, it was fun we had a lot of people come over and it was a great time uh, I had I got a lot of support from everyone so it was a very nice stream so if you're curious in seeing more of this and then you can watch the stream someone in stream was uh, asking me if I could you know put this up for download and uh, yeah I, I I have an account with Kerbal Kerbal X is it Kerbal X but it's like an account from back in 2012 or something like that. Way back in the day, so I don't even remember the password. I bet if you went to Kerbal X right now, you could probably find some old Veils crafts. They probably don't work anymore, but you know, you could definitely give it a shot. <laughs> but eventually I will be putting stuff on Kerbal X. So look forward to that. Hopefully, eventually. Cross your fingers. I got some time this week, so things are gonna things are gonna happen. We'll see. Well, everyone, I want to thank you all for uh, watching this video, and I want to thank you all for being a part of this channel. If you like what you saw, consider subscribing. I download almost every day, and uh, it's it's KSP in the mornings, and if I have time, then it's other 
other games in the evenings. So if you like what you see, you know, just uh, click on that bell notification and uh, it'll be hopefully, hopefully YouTube. <laughs> Hopefully, YouTube will notify you when another video comes out. Don't forget to like and share. It really helps the channel out a lot. Helps with the algorithm. The algorithm. But love you all. Take care. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.